Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio. EB Radio. EB Radio. Your station for empowerment presents Mom Boss Talk Radio, a show that brings real life, real moms, and real experiences to empower mom bosses everywhere to be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless. Mom Boss Talk Radio begins now. Now. Welcome, mom bosses all over the world. It's another amazing Thursday, and that means it's time for another great discussion with the mom bosses. I am one of your hosts, Monietta, and guess what, you guys? Jerisha and Kiana is here with me, okay? We're about to have a great discussion. Now, we're trying to get stuff done, okay? It's 2022. We are trying to complete projects, get things in order, use all the resources we have to get things together. Ladies, how are you doing? Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, you said it. We are trying to get stuff done, and I'm so excited to be a part of the conversation today because I think we have a lot of great stuff to talk about. So all Mm -hmm. is well, and I say let's jump right in. Let's jump in. Let's yes. jump in. Getting stuff done. My goodness. Yeah. I feel like we've talked about, I mean, we've talked about time management. We talked about, you know, uh, ready, reset, go. And mm-hmm. it's so important this time of the year while we're, you know, looking at our goals and, um, you know, goal setting and just preparing for this year. And making sure yeah. we know how we're going to get stuff done. And so I feel like the way that, at least for me, the way that that, the way that that works for me is really looking at the systems that I have in place, the systems, the mm-hmm. resources, and all of the above. So getting stuff done yeah. tonight, I'm going to talk about some of the resources I use in getting stuff done. And I want to put this out there because if I sound a little funny, <laughs> because <laughs> I was actually sick, and so. My voice is still recovering, um, so if I sound if I sound a little funny, that's why. But um, you sound otherwise, amazing. you know, <laughs> <laughs> you sound amazing. Otherwise, you know, it's, I, I just I love the I just love this topic. I love all the topics that we talk about, but you know, really, yeah. when it comes down to it, we all want to be productive, right? You know, who doesn't want to be productive? Yeah. I feel like we got so many things on our plate as a mom. You know, as an entrepreneur, we have tons and tons of things on our list. And in order for us to get things done, we have to have systems. We have to have, you know, things in place. And so um, yeah. when I think about getting stuff done, again, it goes back down to those systems, those uh, resources that we have in place. And I'll talk a little bit about some of those resources, but, um, but you know, I definitely want you two ladies to chime in, too, just to talk about what getting stuff done really means for you right now as we're in January of 2022. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for like, um, for me personally, I, I kind of look at it from a mental health perspective when it, when it's, you know, time to get things done. Um, Because if you don't have the right mindset, you're not going to complete the projects and tasks that you have in place. So, you know, when you think of getting things done, it's like, okay, you have to focus on your mental strength and where you're at mentally um, so that way you can um, att- attack those projects and complete, you know, those tasks um, and actually enjoy doing what you're, you know, trying to do. Because if you don't have a positive mindset and you're, you know, because depression is real, anxiety is real, um, so if, you, if you're in that mindset, you're not going to really get anything done. And I'm speaking from experience. You know, once I hit a funk, then, you know, my whole day is just like, okay, I don't want to do anything. Um, but I'm learning that, you know, self-care and taking care of, you know, my mind, my body, my spirit, I know I can attack the things that I want to attack when I'm in a good state of mind. Um, how about you, Kiana? 
Well, um, that's interesting that you said that because, you know, oftentimes, you know, of course, I, a lot of the times, you know, I start my day, I have my list of my things to do. And, you know, as I'm checking things off and getting through that list, you know, it's like, oh, expect the unexpected, you know, the school's calling or, you know, I have to go out and do a, a last minute, you know, something that, that came out of nowhere and then it throws my day off. And so just try making sure I stay on task and not, you know, letting think little things, you know, interfere with what I'm trying to get done for the day. And so that's been, you know, a, a, a big challenge for me taking on new responsibilities this year. Um, yeah. And so... <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and I understand so prioritizing. That, yeah, right. What's important? Mhm. Yeah, definitely. That's so good. That's good because at the end of the day, I think that uh, the prioritizing thing is so important when we think about getting things done. Now, I don't know if you ladies um, are familiar with, um, I believe. Um, and don't quote me on this. <laughs> so I believe there is a book that is actually called Getting Things Done. And I want to say, um, what is the guy's name that wrote the book? I can't think of it. Maybe it will come to me. But he wrote a whole book about getting things done and having a system and how we need to be productive. Like there is actually a system that's called Getting Things Done or GTD. Yeah. And the way that the system works is um, is looking at it, I believe it's like uh, five different steps to, you know, making sure we're going to have a more productive life because at the end of the day, we all want to be productive. Yes, it's about prioritizing yeah. and all of that, but I believe within um, the book and then even actually the system, the way that it's, it's broken down is by um, capture, clarify, organize, review, and then um, I believe it's engage as well. And mm. so when we think about capture, that's the capturing the things that, that's going to come into our mind. And so to me that is like those the brain dumps that we have, you know, the brain dumps of yeah. all the different things that we need to do throughout the day and, you know, whether it's big things, big tasks, big, you know, small things, but making sure we're going to, you know, capture those things. And then clarifying because, you know, often – when we have all these things that we need to get done, we need to clarify, you know, um, and, and really look at those things that, that we, you know, those projects and the action steps that we need to take and, and all of that. Yeah. And then we love organizing, right? So, and then mm-hmm. it becomes let's organize that, put in everything in the right place and whether it needs to be delegated or if it's something that you're going to work on and the action steps and all of that as well, and then um, the review, and then, of course, the engage, and the engage is where yeah. we're going to actually start working on those things. And so there's a whole system to getting stuff done. You know, whether we utilize that system, whether we, get, you know, use bits and pieces of it, I think it's important enough for us just to speak to and know that we need to have a system in place. So, yes, we have, you know, life is going to happen where we have, you know, tons of different things, things that happen, throughout the day that, you know, it's like, oh, I had these things on my list and I didn't get to get to some of these things because life happens. But at the end of the day, I think it's really important, again, to go back to that system. I like the fact that you mentioned, Ayette, as far as just our mental and making sure that our mental and our mindset is good. Because Mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I mean, you know, if that's not good, who wants to, no one even wants to think about being productive or doing anything. Mm -hmm. So I love that piece. Too. And then the prioritizing, because, you know, I feel like we really don't prioritize enough. Um, for me, and I think we've kind of talked about this on the show before, too, it helps for me to at least say, you know what, there are, these are three things. If I don't get this, if I don't get anything else done today, these are the top three things that I must get done today. And so that way yeah. I feel like I'm at least being productive with something. It doesn't have to be like you just go through your whole entire to-do list and we have this, you know, super long to-do list that we want to get done that day. Even if it's the top three things, I know that I have to get these three things done today, and that has worked for me as well as some other resources that I utilize to help me stay productive 
and that is the Todoist app. I love the Todoist app. I swear by the Todoist mm. app. <laughs> it is really amazing, and it's Todoist is T O T O D O I S T Todoist, and um, I have utilized this app for years. I have it on my cell phone. I have it on my computer. I use it. It's easy enough to just plug in the things I need to do, check it off. I love the fact that it challenges you because the more tasks you get done, you, like, reach these master levels, which is pretty amazing. Mm. And so um, you can just set it up. You can add emojis. I mean, you can set it up to you, – you can do all kinds of things with it. But it, it helps you keep yeah. track of the things that you need to get done. Um, I also use a planner. We've talked about planners on here before. Yeah. So I use that in conjunction with my planner. Um, and then ClickUp is another tool that I use, too, that I, I love, and it's all about project management and all of that as well. Um, but, again, if you don't have a system in place for how you're going to manage your tasks, how you're going to stay productive, how you're going to, you know, what does your routine look like from a day to day? I think it's important yeah. enough for us to have that system in place, even as far as when you mentioned from our mental, you know, so we have those days where we just don't mm-hmm. feel like it. Where, you know, okay, then what's our routine for when, what's our system in place if we don't feel like it? You know, what does that look like? I think we almost have to have a system in place for everything, even though that may sound kind of funny. But you know how you feel when you're not motivated. You know the things that's going to motivate you. And so if you have something in place to where when you get those moments, when you have that time, that you can say, you know what, this is my go-to when I'm feeling like this. This is my go-to mm-hmm. so that you can bounce back, so that you can feel like you can get stuff done. So yeah, that is, um, that's what I utilize. What, what else do you ladies want to add? Let me add this. Um, I started to do, and we've talked about this as well, time blocking. I, I, when you mentioned it the last, like, um, during one of the podcasts, I'm like, oh, that's genius. And I started to implement that and in my daily routine, and it has been very helpful. And it's, I'm still modifying um, and, make, you know, to make sure it works and I'm balanced. Um, and, like, for them days that I don't feel like doing something, um, I, I'm tweaking it so I don't overwhelm myself or I'm not filling up my, mm-hmm. you know, calendar too much. Um, but when you do finish a task, when you do get stuff done, oh, it feels amazing. It feels like you have just, you know, ran miles. You've accomplished something. No matter how small it is, it, it gives you like this, um, like, what is it, a positive reinforcement type, you know, with the tools that you're using, the one that you were talking about, it gives you kind of like um, accolades for completing something. Yes. That's positive reinforcement. Uh-huh. That mm-hmm. kind of pushes you. Um, so when I finish something, it's like, it, it gives me, like, this positive energy. I feel elated, like, oh, my goodness, I, I finished it. I completed it. So, you know, those feelings are amazing. But definitely, you know, the time blocking thing has definitely been helping me manage and to kind of, you know, um, get everything in order so I can complete things in a timely manner um, and not to overexert myself, not to overwhelm myself, because you also have to know yourself mentally. You have to know what you're able to handle and don't overdo it. And um, like Jerisha was saying, the resources will definitely help you, um, you know, and modify it to your needs, tailor it to what you do. You know, some days you might take longer breaks, you know, Um, some days you might not finish a task. That's okay. Put it on to the next day that you have that, you know, have time available. Modify it as needed or as you go. Um, it's okay if you don't necessarily hit the mark, but when you let me tell you, it feels amazing, okay? <laughs> it feels yes. it feels when you finish those tasks. Kiana? Um, one thing I would add, add to that in regards to Jerisha asking, um, you know, what's your go-to on those days where you just don't feel like, you know, me- physically, emotionally, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, what's your go-to to get you through those days. And for me, um, it, it's really focusing on my why, you know, why did I start, 
you know, whatever that project is or why did I start my business, remembering those things, um, you know, and, and really just showing up and, you know, trying to hold myself accountable. Yeah, we all have those days, but, you know, um, at the same time, you know, you can't check out. I mean, I guess you could, but, you know, where's that going to get you at the end of the day? So just really focusing on my why, regardless if that's my business partners, my family, you know, or, or like I said, just remembering why I started it to begin with, you know, that isn't necessarily always enough, but for some people, but, you know, that's definitely a great starting point if you are, you know, having those days where it's like, okay, I just mentally or physically don't feel like doing certain things, you know, just starting at, back at that, asking yourself that question, why did I, I, I start this, you know, project, this business, you know, whatever the case may be or your situation may be. Yeah. And that's I been helpful that. for me. That's good. I love that. I love all of that because I think it is so important too, like you you know, like you just said, to, for us to have our why when we don't feel like it. There has been so many times that I can say that and I'm no I'm sure you both can speak to that as well, where you just have that moment when, you know, it's just an off day, it's not a good day and you're like, you know what, I don't feel like doing anything but sitting in or laying on this couch and that's all in that thing. <laughs> and, it's hard. you know, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we have to understand when, you know, whether it goes down to, like, the burnout or whatever it may be, when we have to take that time for ourselves just to have a moment. I think it's okay, too, for us to have a mental health day. Like, you know what, today yeah. is the day that I'm not doing anything. Um, I'm not worried about getting stuff done. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like we can't stay in that space. And so I feel like it's perfectly mm-hmm. fine where we, you know, have our moments, but not necessarily to stay in that space. And I think that everything that we have shared today has been, um, it's helpful. It's helpful for not just us, but for those that are, you know, understanding, like, we, we get it. We definitely get it. We understand those moments, even how we are all just super on fire and excited to really show up for ourselves in, you know, in January we all have goals that we're trying to accomplish, and ultimately we want to get stuff done. And and so yeah. that means not just looking at our mental health, looking at prioritizing, looking at our why, but also making sure that we have, and I think both of you ladies said it, have that accountability, have that support mm-hmm. system to where we can be leaning on each other to motivate, to hold each other accountable. And so that's one of the things that I know on this show we have, um, you know, made an agreement, agreement and been in agreement with each other to where we know our goals that we're focused on for this year and we are holding each other accountable to making sure we're going to support and empower each other as we're working yes. on um, getting things done for ourselves, from a personal level, from a professional level, from business and all of that. So we encourage each and every one of you also that is listening to make sure you have a support system. If you don't have one, then join our support system on Facebook, (laughs) the Mom Boss Talk Radio Facebook group, because we would love to have you as a part of our community so that we can encourage, we can empower you, And we can inspire you because we're all in this together. We all want to get stuff done, whether you have whatever kind of system in place. um, Not everything is a one-size-fits-all. So you'll hear us throughout um, not just this show but other shows talk about what works for us, what doesn't work for us. And so on that note, ladies, can you think of anything that maybe you've tried that you're like, you know what, this is just not the thing for me. I tried it. Um, as far as productivity, it didn't work for me. I'm done with that. Um, can you ladies think of anything? Now, I'll tell you one thing that while you ladies are thinking, one thing that I tried and I was like, eh, I don't know how, I don't really know if this is, if this is my thing. And it was, it was an app. It was um, an app that I utilized, and um, I thought I loved it at first. And then I was like, well, um, so we've talked about, like, to-do lists. 
uh, Trello. I love Trello. But I tried Notion, and I don't know if you ladies are familiar with Notion at all. Um, Notion yeah. is another, like, app to kind of help you get stuff done. I tried it. I thought I loved it at first until I did. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, okay, this is way too much, too much work, so I'm going to check no on it. Um, and so then I reverted back to Trello and then also to um, to like a, the click up and all of that. But can you ladies think of anything that you're like, you know what, I tried it, it didn't work for me, whether it's, you know, a system, whether it's an app, whatever it may be, anything that you um, may have tried from a productivity that you're just like, you I, know what, this really didn't work. I think I – I'm not a big fan of like um, writing, like writing planners. Like I've tried to get the, you know, the calendars, and then you know, do, I think my my thing is digital. Anything digital, I will I will I love digital notes. I, I use Evernote. I love Evernote because um, I you know I tried to go buy planners, but they just you know build up like I just, I'll end up with a whole bunch of planners because I'm like oh that's pretty and then I'll go get it and then I like I might write in it for a few days and then I'm like I'm like oh I put those notes in my phone already so it's like <laughs> so it's just the whole the writing it, they're beautiful planners I you know I do suggest you know for those who love to write down their you know thoughts and things like that definitely try the math for me it just doesn't work because I don't I'll, I'm I have my technology with me more than I have a pen and paper so it's easier for me just to jot something in my laptop or jot, you know, especially my phone. Um, so that's what works for me as far as, like, um, apps um, other than Evernote. Um, I've tried Trello. Um, I need to get more into Trello because I do like some of the features. Um, Evernote, love it. Um, so, yeah, that's just me. What about you, Kiana? Um, I, I'm on. It's so funny because you know I've been trying to switch more over to the digital side, but I am a more traditional person as far as you know liking to write out my notes and. But I'm kind of with you at the same time, Manieta, as far as I don't always remember my planner or. I know I've been yeah. guilty of, you know, trying to uh, utilize more than one planner. Um, and so it's like I'll write something in one planner, but it might not make it to the other one. So I, I am trying to get more on the digital side. And, you know, because like you said, I always have my phone with me, you know. So I, I that's something that I've, you know, tried to start incorporating more um, in my, you know, day-to-day but for the most part, I, I am a more traditional write down. But I'm really bad about writing stuff, and and then I forget where I wrote it. I'm like, well, where did I write that on again? Or you know, it, you know. So yeah, I have thousands of notepads and things like that. And I'm like, oh wait, which one did I write it in? And I try to keep them separate, but you know that doesn't always work out the best. But yeah, yeah I'm trying to incorporate the more on the more of a, the digital side because I definitely see the the benefit of, you know, utilizing those apps and more frequently than what I have in the past. I agree. I agree. I love it. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. See, you know, just like we said, some things work for us, some things don't, and we know it's the same. Um, I am both, so I'm a digital, and, you know, I like to have the hard copy too, which is weird, <laughs> I know, but but um, I, I mean, it's it can be a challenge for all of us. But at the end of the day, you know, ultimately, we want to be able to get things done. I think there's millions and millions of people that is all around the world that want to be able to get things done. Um, because, that, you know, our to-do list is not getting smaller. It's growing. And so we just want to make sure we're going to get things done. And so, um, I, you know, I think that with that being said, you know, if you, if you all that's listening, if you have any suggestions, any resources, anything that you may want to share with us, again, hop in the Mom Boss Talk Radio Facebook group and, you know, send us a message. Send, let us know what works for you and maybe what hasn't worked. And certainly if we can, you know, offer some of the additional resources and, and tools that we use, we would love to do that. Um, like always, we thank you all for tuning in to the show. We're always excited to talk and share um, our insights, our tips, and everything because, again, y'all know we are real mom bosses, 
and, you know, with real experiences, real life, and um, we just want to empower everyone, all of the mom bosses that's listening. So we thank you so much for tuning in to the Mom Boss Radio Talk Show this evening, and um, we are looking forward to talking to you next week. So make sure you tune in on Thursday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, my bosses, y'all better make sure y'all know to be fierce, be fabulous, okay, because y'all know you got this. Until next time, be blessed and have a great week. Thank you for joining us on Mom Boss Talk Radio. Follow each of the Mom Bosses on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you love Mom Boss Radio, visit the website at www.envisionedbroadcasting.com. We'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give a review on iTunes. Until next time.